Thank you. Thank you, member. Uh, note the uh, arrival of our uh, chair of the full committee. Thank you. And uh, she has deferred to our other members to let them go first. And so, Senator Wicker, yeah, I yield five minutes to you. I, I really do appreciate that. Uh, Dr. Woodruff, my, my colleague um, and friend, Senator Merkley, thinks um, I shouldn't be drinking water uh, out of a plastic bottle. Um, I, I, I note that I'm drinking water today out, out of a glass pitcher, but uh, regrettably, Senator Bozeman, it, his water is, is out of a plastic. Uh, should I quit drinking water out of a plastic bottle? Well, I don't think you should drink, quit drinking water. Out of a plastic bottle. Out of a plastic bottle. Well, first of all, there are plastic chemicals and microplastics in a water bottle. Currently, I mean, it's your choice, but I have my own reusable water bottles, so it's up to you, but if you want to lower your levels of plastic and microplastics, that's one source that you could stop. Okay, well, um, well uh, thank you for, uh, for that testimony. It, Mr. Chairman, I would ask unanimous consent at this point to add into the record um, uh, a document entitled Chemistry Creates, America Competes, um, uh, concerning uh, some of the great benefits of um, chemicals. Without objection. Uh, thank you very much. Now, uh, Mr. Huntsman, you've said there's much agreement in, in the panel here. Um, it, it, is it fair to say that your position is um, that without um, a regime that allows uh, the reasonable manufacture of chemicals such as the ones you have, um, we would not be able to defend our country um, militarily. And also, we would not be able to produce uh, certain items and certain products that actually um, take us off of using more dangerous products that Americans and humans have used earlier. Is that, is that part of your posi uh, I, position? Is that I, a good state restatement of your position? I think that's absolutely correct. And as a, uh, I, I, again, I think the vast majority of, of what is said here, we would agree. Uh, the esteemed Dr. Woodruff here with her drinking uh, container, I noticed you have got a plastic cap that goes on the top of that. Uh, and so without that plastic, I'm not sure that, you know, you'd be able to have the lightweight flexibility and so forth. So let's look at it, it. It's a balance in, in so many of these areas and so many of these things uh, that we do. But when it comes to defense, when it comes to mechanization, computerization, aerospace, automobile movement, any source of armor, it simply wouldn't exist without petrochemicals. Well, None you know, of it. I spend a, a lot more of my committee time in another building on the Armed Services Committee. And, and we know what a dangerous world we're in. Actually, I've been saying all year, this is the most dangerous period we've had since World War II. And, and it's uh, not just Iran with their nukes, it's China, it's Russia, and this crazy guy that runs uh, North Korea. Uh, when there are when there are delays and the statutory deadlines are missed for approval of certain of your applications, that harms national defense, does it not? Oh, absolutely, it does. We're working on some applications, for example, that will be going into uh, some of the surface, some of the technology that's come from the aerospace industry on hypersonic missiles, for example. Uh, delays in those will obviously, you won't be able to build a hypersonic missile without the skin, without the coating on those missiles and without the components uh, to be able to withstand the heat and friction and so forth and the weight uh, that's needed on those applications. So absolutely, it, it, all, it all is intertwined with the supply, intertwined with the supply and, chain. And by the same token, when, when there's an invention by your company uh, of something that actually takes us away from a more, a more harmful substance, um, and that is, that, that is delayed by statutory uh, deadline being missed, uh, the public is harmed by that, is it not? I'm a father of eight children. I've got 20 grandchildren. I don't want to see any chemicals in anybody's drinking water anymore than anybody else does. Uh, I care a great deal. I've worked in chemical plants in my career. 
nobody wants to be exposed to any of these products. Uh, and so, yes, to the degree, as I said earlier, the vast majority of new chemistries that we produce are to replace older chemistries or to advance sciences or to advance the environmental stewardship and so forth. It's good business, aside from just being a, on a humanitarian front. Mr. Huntsman, I was just presented with my ninth grandchild, um, and uh, people have uh, remarked about that, but I must say your testimony takes my breath away. <laughs> <laughs> Ta takes my wife's as well. So. Congratulations. <laughs>